Gucci is apologizing after it made a decision to put out a questionable looking sweater, turtleneck sweater that um, some have interpreted to mimic blackface. So maybe because it looks like blackface. Maybe because it is. Yeah, I, but why, <laughs> but why, but why? Someone please explain to me why, 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 why? It's Black History Month, why? $890, first of all, like let's say that it didn't, it wasn't an insanely offensive sweater, which it is. $890 to look like that. I know why? That. I mean, why are people so stupid that they would spend money on something like this? But okay, that's beside the point. It's, yeah, it's obviously offensive. And how did they think that this was a good idea? They got a ton of backlash after releasing it. And have apologized as a result. Let's go forward to graphic 41. Gucci deeply apologizes for the offense caused by the wool balaclava jumper, whatever. We can confirm that the item has been immediately removed from our store online and all physical stores. We consider diversity to be a fundamental yada, 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 whatever. Okay, so. Yeah. The sweater, it, it, it existed. It, someone actually thought this was a good idea. Well, I see a lot of people, so we'll get to that in a second. First of all, let's note that um, hashtag but why should obviously go viral. Um, and, and, uh, and I can't believe they've defamed Baklava in this way. Um, <laughs> so no, the real question here, guys, is did they do it on purpose? Because uh, clothing companies seem to do this with great regularity. And so that makes you go, hmm, and at Black History Month, and everybody's talking about blackface now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that coincidence is way, way, way too large. Other companies like Dolce and Gabbana had a stereotype about Chinese people that got them in trouble. Zara did one with Pepe the Frog. Prada had things that resembled black monkeys with outsized red lips, so very similar. H&M addressed the young black male model and put the phrase coolest monkey in the jungle. Okay, so nonstop these companies are like, oh, look at this controversy. Oh, so sorry. Did I get a lot of publicity? I know, but, but I it's can't believe that they think this is good publicity. These are the same companies that were like obsessed with brand safety. They're like, oh my God, you talking about anything that was in the news? I don't, no, 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 I want to be brand safe. Oh, I got a great idea. Let's do a black face, big giant red lip sweater that gets us in massive trouble and gets everybody to hate us. Uh, while we're worried about brand safety. Well, look, I don't, I don't know if this was an intentional PR stunt. I'm inclined to think no, because these brands like Gucci and Prada and all them, like they, they're not, they're not H and M, they're not Zara. These are like you know, idiots pay insane amounts of money for this garbage. So it's not like they're you know dying for the you know, the, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what they were thinking. I, I hate. I hate all of this, it's just so dumb, all of it is dumb. Yeah, so look, one last excuse people use is, well, look, it's a French company, maybe they don't know. Um, so think about how many people are involved in the process of uh, approving a, a product. Uh, and so it, it has to be made in the first, there's a designer, there's the person who approves the design, there's the uh, people who make the sweater, there's the people who put it on the website. All of those people, dozens of people looked at this and thought, great idea. Let's put this out on the internet. I want. I bet it won't get us in trouble at all. So, uh, some uh, civil rights uh, activists are making a great, great point. This, okay, assume that they did not intend it. And by the way, I don't know. They might. They really might be that clueless. So, that is the best case to make for why you need to hire a more diverse workforce. Mm -hmm. Because. Really, were there any African Americans or any black folks, because if they live in Europe, obviously they're not Americans, involved in this process at all, any? Because if there was just one involved, they'd have been like, ah, guys, this is kind of awkward. But I gotta tell you that that thing is super 100% racist, do not put it out there. And then if they actually didn't wanna do it and didn't do it as a PR stunt, they might be like, "Oh my God, thank you. Thank you for saving us. From deep embarrassment, but yeah. apparently they don't have a single minority to look at this stuff. Yeah, and look, Gucci, I believe, is an Italian company, and I don't know uh, Italy's history with uh, you know black people. 
Uh, I would imagine that it, it wasn't perfect, uh, but I don't know if Italy has the same history in the United States uh, with blackface, right? But I don't care, that's not enough of an excuse, right? And the reason why I say that is because you are a global brand. You are a global brand and you have consumers in the United States who are gonna see this and it's gonna message something significant to them. Right, and, and so you're right. I think they're right in in having a diverse team. So when this goes through the process of approvals, someone can jump in and be like, "Yo, you guys probably don't know this, but this is actually incredibly offensive to people in this part of the world." So Gucci is actually owned by a French luxury group called Caring. Okay. So that's why I refer to it as a French company. But guys, it's whether they're in Italy or France doesn't mean they don't have an American division. They have a gigantic division. In America, and if they had had any minority at all that was in that division that touched this at all, could have told them, not cool, right? And it wouldn't have taken that much. But that's what happens when you don't care about diversity, apparently, and and then and then you suffer the consequences. I don't know if they meant to offend people or if they just. Uh, and by the way, I mean it is a luxury good. Maybe they maybe they did intend it. Maybe they don't think that's that bad PR for the folks buying this. I don't know. Uh, so, but I really don't know. Most likely, what usually happens is incompetence, right? Uh, and and look, the, the reason why we're most animated about this is because of how obvious it is. There's another controversy about how Adidas put out an all-white shoe on Black History Month, uh, and as part of some uh, line to, uh, of goods to celebrate African Americans. So that's a little weird uh, to put out an all-white shoe, but that's but it's nowhere near this. Right, that could be an honest mistake. This is kind of rubbing your face in it. Yeah, at least if it seems that way. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.